Hello everyone, this is Luis Zero Five, and welcome to the Global Man Central Toy Review. And today, sorry, we're we'll looking at the 1995 release by Todd Toys of the Todd McFarlane Spawn playset review. And today's playset review, we'll be looking at a Spawn Alley action playset. Now I got this straight from eBay, and this entire playset is made in box with a little bit damage on one side here for thirty nine dollars and ninety cents. A little bit pricey compared to the retail pricing that was first released in 1995 but then again way cheaper to compare with the other eBay sellers that are selling this for $90 so $39.90 is a good deal there now let's take a look at the front portion of the packaging itself the front portion of the packaging shows the actual image of the playset toy itself which is a very nice touch at least you know what it looks like in the front portion of the packaging of that box itself to show the toy but the problem is it neglected to show the figures playing around with the playset itself so you don't know the actual size being compared to the figure itself which is something quite interesting to know about and in the background is rather bland looking background with rather cloudy background even the moon is a little bit fogged up and there's two lightning cracked at the back of the playset itself it's not really that interesting of a background there here we have a listing of all the play features for the playset itself we have the exploding brick wall avalanche roof to stop intruders missile firing gun booby trap pop-up manhole cover and garbage can secret garage for spawn mobile working crane with cable telephone pole rope swing back entrance elevator special comic book shows spawn alley's play features it's not bad there's a lot of play features for this playset and what's interesting to note that this playset does not include any figures or vehicles as well as mentioned down below here with a very small sp sp font writing down there spawn mobile and action figures sold separately at the bottom it also includes a special edition comic book now this playset will require some assembly as shown at the bottom corner of the box itself now for the sides and the top and bottom of the box itself shows the same image as like so it shows the image of the playset and the listing of all the well the gimmicks itself so let's take a look at the back portion of the packaging Now this is the back portion of the packaging itself, now, again we are shown with the actual image of the toy itself, very nice. But what's interesting to note is that all these panels here is actually displaying the toy's gimmick. Problem is, is that they are all in an illustrated comic book style, which is kind of weird. They don't actually show you the actual figure playing around with the gimmicks itself. Here we have a picture of Spawn manhandling the missile launcher there. Here we have the roof itself toppling down with all the junk crushing anyone down below. Here is the back portion of the playset where it shows the back entrance elevator. The top section there we have the Spawn figure holding onto the hook to rise up from the top, top section of the roof using the crane itself and the last panel here shows the exploding brick wall very nice so without further ado let's open up this packaging so we can molest the place at be right back and we're back after further assembling the playset itself now first things first inside the packaging it does come with an instruction manual and one side of the instruction manual actually showcase the parts all the parts for the playset before assembly and there's a lot of parts but luckily enough assembling the entire playset is a child's play if you follow the instruction all you have to do is plug it in and you're done the final page here actually shows you to place the final details like hooking on the chain itself placing the water tower and the chimney and placing the small little, ra little rats and the manhole cover the trash can and finally placing the sticker labels onto the playset yes you have to place some 
sticker labels and this is the size of the sticker sheet here which is already applied onto the playset. Now the sticker labels is quite easy to apply, there's not a lot of hassle because it's quite large as you can see the sheer size of it, this, this, this is one of the sticker labels itself smaller ones will be something like this keep out signs the platform will be one of the larger ones even at this bottom section as well even the, well, the signboard as well and even in the inside, I'm not too sure if you can see it the bumper is also applied with the sticker labels and finally the carpeting on the second floor and the water tower and that's all the sticker labels that you need to apply for the playset itself now before we go any further there's another item that has also been packaged in the well in the box itself which is the comic as you can see the front cover shows the comic style of the playset and the entire comic is quite simple, it's rather thin it shows Spawn being chased by the Violator and he went to this well, to this playset activating some of the features, not a lot of features but it did show some of the features itself and that's about it which is quite interesting although it doesn't show all the features but it's quite interesting that they actually came up with this well, format, it reminds me of the 80s for the Master Universe vintage toys where each of the figure or playset comes with a small little mini comic and they actually show the gimmick of the figure or the vehicle or the playset itself which is a really noble idea, I really like the idea now, before we go any further let's take a look at the sheer size of the playset itself now bear in mind I'm panning the video all the way to the back right now because the playset is so huge you are looking at just the ground floor I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit this is the second floor and that's the roof as you can see the entire thing is rather huge and tall but if you compare to other figures to this place, uh, how big it is. Anyway, I have next to me is the five inch spawn figure. Now, when you place it on top like so, it's a little bit out of scale. Well, at least the five inch figure is a bit too big for the playset. But it does have some strangeness to this because some of the smaller parts, like the wrap itself, if you compare it to a 5 inch figure this is a appropriate size or if you place the figure onto the, to the missile launcher on the second floor he can actually man the well the missile launcher quite easily or you can have the figure hold onto the handlebar here to have him swing around like so it actually does fit on some certain degree but for the entire place that is a bit too big for him for some reason now despite that the place that did not mention anything about the movie line itself it does fit the three and a quarter inch figures for the movie spawn figures yes it does however this is not marketed towards the movie spawn figures so again go figure and speaking of the three and a quarter inch figures I have next to me is the 25th anniversary the Alley Viper from the Defense of the Cobra Island 7 pack online exclusive now removing this and placing this here the figure actually does fit in for the size itself as you can see but if you compare it to the rat it's a bit too big So it does fit in on certain well scenarios but mostly towards to the three and a quarter inch size. However to have the elevator to man the missile launcher on the top of the second floor it's another thing. Now 
let's take a look at the colors being applied onto the playset itself. Now, the entire playset, the main body itself, well, majority of the parts are actually made of a light gray plastic material color. And there's a lot of paint job applied onto it. Not all of it, but mostly. It's more towards to the shading, as you can see there. There's a lot of dark gray and black shading throughout the majority of parts of the playset itself. As you can see there. Of course, there are some other parts that's actually painted, like this entire pipe here is painted in black, very nice, or dark grey. The section here is also painted in dark grey. The bars here, as you can see, is also painted in dark grey. So does the wiring at the one corner here. The red bricks has been painted in red, very nice. And you can see the signboard on top as I remove it. This entire thing is made of a beige plastic material color. And the top section down, the lighting is actually painted in red. Very nice. This is a sticker label itself. And it's also being shaded as you can see the dirt there. It looks like it's quite dirty. All the wooden boards has been painted from the outside, but not from the inside. Wooden boards has been painted and sprayed along with the shading and so making it look really dirty red, red bricks has been painted as well as you can see that moving the camera up a little bit the boards has been painted as well and shaded it looks like it's been burned very nice the details is quite interesting this is the back portion of the playset itself. Now, even in the back portion, the grill here is actually painted in dark gray, so it's actually not bad. Now, some of the parts is also painted, like the manhole cover here as well. It's actually painted in dark gray. The elevator platform here is actually made of a red plastic metal color, but it's shaded with a little bit of gray. And the bottom section is also shaded. This entire piece is not painted, of course. There's a lot of shading going on here as well. Smaller box is also painted in beige colors. However, the two doors there is actually made of a beige plastic material color. So does this entire missile launcher here is made of a dark gray plastic material color. As you can see, the chain itself is made of a black plastic metal color. Very nice. Moving to the other side, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm doing this quite carefully as not to disturb the exploding wall. This is one of the stupid gimmicks there. As you can see, the wooden boards, the broken wooden boards, is also painted in beige color. And so does the section here as well. The hook here is made of a red plastic metal color. Comes with a string. The cr entire crane is made of a yellow plastic metal color, as you can see there. Moving to one corner here. I'm push this one side. As you can see, the electrical wiring that's covering this three poles are actually painted in dark grey with a lot of shading going on. Now, the brick wall itself is also quite nice. I'm sorry for the fireworks going on outside because, well, it's still Chinese New Year. Here you get to see Spawn Alley painted in yellow, and the edges of the font itself is painted in black. Very nice. This entire piece here is made of a beige plastic metal color but shaded with a lot of dark gray to make it look really dirty but on the other side it's pretty clean though and you get to see the spots there but it's a bit bad moving the camera up this is the front section of the board the doors itself the gargoyles is made of a light grey plastic metal colour, but shaded as well. As you can see, it looks really dirty. 
but I really like it. Well, the wallet tower here is actually made of a beige plastic material color, but the cover itself is made of a dark gray. Then we have the chimney on the top here made of a dark gray plastic material color. And furthermore, this entire piece here is made of a dark gray plastic material color. So that's the, the lamp itself and the voucher on the top, perch on top of the lamp post. However, on the lamp post, as you can see, they actually painted red there on the top side. Very nice. And that's all the paint job there is for this entire place, which is actually not bad. It's just a bit too much with the shading, too much spraying around. I mean, it's nice actually on certain parts. You want to make it dirty, understandable, but it's a bit too much. Furthermore, I forgot to mention, it does come with two rats, but they are actually made of a dark gray plastic material color. It does come with a manhole cover, also made of a dark gray plastic material color. Some of the parts is also made of a dark grey plastic material co colour. The trash can however is made of a light grey plastic material colour. As you can see it's been shaded. Now I don't mind the larger spray like something like this. It looks, it, well it actually gives the illusion that it's dirty. But there's so many spots there. I think they are overdoing with the spray. Bottom section is pretty clean. However, yes the, man, the garbage can can be open inside is pretty clean what I found out inside the garbage can as you can see there's a paint smudge inside not too sure if it's deliberate I don't think it is it looks like a paint stroke just you know just wipe off the paint there or something there's also one part that I forgot to mention this pipe here and the wiring at the bottom section then there's green slime that's poured out but on the other side it's just a sticker label not too sure why they do that they could have just painted it but I guess sticker labels on one side for the drain itself is much more easier and that's all the colors for the entire place set it's not bad it's just overdoing with the spring itself now let's take a look at the mold and the details of the entire place set. It's quite nicely done. We have the garage door going from this section here. There's a lot of rivers going on, wooden boards. You can flip it up, but you cannot actually, well, actually stop it on certain angles because the moment you lift it up, it just keep on flipping down. You got the explosive wall yeah the brick wall there it's actually not bad it's made of a red plastic material color the other side is hollowed you can see the molding of the bricks itself it's actually not bad looking we also have the big rat here comes with a nice little tail no paint job at all as you can see bottom section is all flat rather ra large rat there's two of them both of the same mold. We have the manhole cover, which is, it does look like a giant button for some reason. Bottom section is just flat out. There's five holes there. Looks like a giant button. You got the lamp post here, as you can see. Very nice with the lamp itself and a voucher on the top. I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit. That's the voucher then. Very nice molding of the voucher. Very nice. Got a nice molding on the grill itself. Let's not talk about the garbage can. We already talked enough of it. Pipes on one side, pipe, a longer pipe that goes from the second floor all the way down. Very nice. Sign post up here we got the lights itself what I really like is the details of the well the building itself because there's a lot of nice details like the red bricks the wooden boards and you got the the fence wall here as well very nicely done 
a lot of broken pieces you've got the stone floors as well I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit stone floor top section of the ceiling itself they burst a hole here very nicely done you've got the elevator well platform here you've got a, a grill now very nice very nicely done and no there is no special well pulley system that you can actually have the elevator go up and down by its own but we'll go to the details of the gimmick later this is the bumper itself which is already applied with the sticker label back portion of the wall for the explosive brick wall now this is the gimmick itself which I'm gonna show later now it's a bit pity that they didn't actually apply with a clear translucent plastic for this section of the roof here it's just all at, well hollowed out it's a bit disappointing there's a box there a small little crate very nice you got the missile launcher there as well on the top what I really like is the back portion here because of the chains itself you got a nice chain here and got the skull as well so that's this section as well moving up we have the crane the crane is rather simple as you can see it's just a string hooking onto this section with the hook itself I'll go to the gimmicks later a very small wall tower which is rather disappointing I really wish it's a bit more bigger and you got the well the chimney itself the furnace turning this entire piece again because I do not wish to disturb the brick wall yes it falls off quite easy then we have the gargongs very nice very nicely done I really like this entire playset there are some of the details that are quite nicely done as you can see there so if you can get it for $40 it's really worth the price actually if you're well if you're a fan of a playset if you like dioramas this is actually not bad especially if you want dioramas for your three and a quarter inch figures five inch figures is a bit too big for them three and a quarter inch figures it suits it really well now let's take a look at the playsets gimmicks now according to the comic this part here you've got this pole here with a handle spawn all he has to do is hold on to it and you basically swing it but I fail to see the gimmick there basically you swing it 360 degrees just like how it's shown in the comic but again it's rather lame now you will notice that one side of the section footwear on top of the garbage can and the manhole cover here you get to see this panel now when you place a figure on top like so and you push this paddle down you flip the character not really that far but also slam onto the explosive wall itself it's meant to propel the character up as shown in the comics itself but it doesn't propel that much anyway even with the three and a quarter inch figure which I'm not gonna propel my alley wiper up now on the other side same gimmick with the for this section here except you propel the well the trash can the thing is the trash can doesn't pop out the can itself the lid of the can doesn't pop off quite easily it, because the moment you cover it up it stays covered up and of course we have the garage door that flips open but it doesn't stay open that's a bit disappointing part oh and one more thing I which I forgot to mention is the elevator now the elevator is also another disappointing gimmick I would have thought that there would be some sort of um, 
pulley system or lever system so you can keep on turning and the entire elevator would move out by its own no it doesn't and furthermore it doesn't actually stop on the top despite that <laughs> this entire thing is an elevator the moment you reach the top itself it just falls back down so the elevator is rather lame it's really lame if it's an elevator that actually can stop on the top or at least it can stop anywhere and not kept on falling off from from the top to the bottom it's one of the most rather weak gimmick now we're gonna do the explosive wall a uh, brick wall now the back portion here is the lock this spring loaded battering ram which is already locked in one place as you can see here the peg is aligned on one corner so when you pull it out and when I pull it like so when you pull it out see it will you if you twist it on one section the entire thing will well knock the brick wall so I'm gonna demonstrate again once I well realign the entire brick wall again again I wanted to stress out I really hate the brick wall because it tends to fall off quite easily so I'm just going to find a double-sided tape and then just tape them so I can place them on the on a cabinet so I don't have to worry that it'll fall off every time someone knock the cab cabinet a little bit so let's do the gimmick again and there you have it it's not really that great it's, well, it's better than the elevator that I have to agree now placing the remaining parts for the wall itself now we come to the top section of the second floor of the place set here is the second floor you can actually swing open the doors itself yes it's articulated and you have an articulated well missile launcher that goes 360 degrees we have the missile being loaded inside and can go up this high or all the way down this low and yes it the peg is on the top here the firing mechanism is on the top and when you press it it doesn't fire properly so the spring mechanism is not really well I'm gonna take it out again see it doesn't fire at all the spring mechanism is not really well done at all see now it fires because you have to align it in a certain angle as you can see now it doesn't fire now it fires now it does come with three missiles I'll put it here and not load the missiles at all it does come with three red missiles made of a red plastic material color and there's quite a nice detail molding there as well I thought one corner of the peg itself you can see there's an empty slot I'm not sure what it's meant to peg into but there's three missiles there now let's take a look at the crane itself first I'm gonna bring this figure and have him hold the hook itself there's spawn there hanging on to it and what the gimmick is is that you pull the string on the top and if you let go it'll just well let go and drop the spawn figure down so again nothing impressive there's no well spring mechanism to pull it or press a button to pull it or let go nothing that special and the final gimmick is the avalanche rooftop now there's a paint on the side here so all you have to do is just yes flip it down like so as you can see here and all the pieces I'm not gonna flip all the way down because I don't want to clean up the mess but yes 
all of these items on the top the water tower the entire furnace the two gargoyles will fall off from the roof and causing a whole bunch of mess down the ground below and that's all the gimmick there is but the final one would be placing a car behind the garage door but there's no platform for it to rise all the way up again I'm just gonna leave the uh, the brick wall one side you can see there is no platform for a car to go up so not too sure why they do that you gave him a bumper on this section but you don't give him a platform I have no idea why now overall as a a diorama playset is actually not bad there's a lot of nice details there the gimmicks is not really that impressive some of the gimmicks are outright lame and some of the gimmicks are just not really that impressive at all but the details of the playset is very nicely done I really like it however whether or not if it fits your five five inch figures or not no it does not too it's it's a bit too small for the scale itself three and a quarter inch figures yes it does fit very well for the gimmicks I'm not recommending it for kids itself they might be a little bit disappointed unless they are the ones that easily entertained by simple stuff even for me I find the gimmicks is rather lame even the 80s toys the gimmicks are, is a bit more better compared to this one so if I'm gonna give a rating on this I give it a nice well as a diorama set here I give it a nice 7 out of 10 yes 7 out of 10 for the spawn alley action playset I thank you all for watching this is Lucy's your 5 and I'm signing off